day. Welcome to another episode of Masonic Curious. Again, we're here at the Newtonville Masonic Apartments, and we're now in the main lodge room here at Newton, Massachusetts. Now, today's episode, I'm going to talk about a couple of things that come under, I say, under our radar. And what I mean by that is these are things, Masonic things, that are not made by us, not made for us. They were not sold by us. They were not used by us in any way, shape, or manner. Nor do they have anything to do with Freemasonry as a whole, except they are Masonic. But then how can that be? Well, I'm talking about souvenir items. Now, these items, you know, you go to the seashore, you might go to the Grand Canyon, how about Disney World? And while you're in the parks, but outside, say in some of the shops or gift shops that are outside of the areas, um, you're going to come across, you know, all types of things. Uh, maybe a pot of cactus from the Grand Canyon that says Grand Canyon on the pot. Or Disney World, you might come across a pennant that says Florida on it. Or while you're at the seashore, I don't know, you come across uh, a shell that says the name of the beach or the town. You know, these are souvenir items that you buy as a memento that you were there. You know, the things that you take home and put on the shelf and you look at it once every five years and you say, oh yeah, I remember going there. Those are the souvenir items. And that's what these are, souvenir items. Now, I hope you can see this pretty good. And it's all one color. <clears throat> and this is a bud vase. Now, as I said, these are souvenir items. These are items that have Masonic images on them that were sold directly for the tourist trade, not to us. Now, this bud vase shows the Pittsfield Masonic Temple in Pittsfield, Massachusetts. Probably dates to about the 1920s. It is marked only on the bottom, made in Germany, where I've seen a lot of these ceramic pieces made. Uh, it is all hand decorated and it has a colored transfer of the Pittsfield Masonic Temple. Now, I doubt very much Pittsfield had a little gift store in there where you can go in and buy these. These are probably in a gift shop, maybe a general store, some type of a merchant store in the Pittsfield area. And why? Well, Pittsfield is in the Berkshires, which is a tourist destination, and also Mount Greylock is also at that location, which is also a tourist destination. So these things were made just like postcards. They were made as a souvenir item that you could purchase as a little memento. Now, were they geared towards a Freemason who was a tourist? Maybe, maybe not. But I've seen a lot of Masonic postcards written by what looks like non-Masons, both male and female over the years. So who knows who they were actually geared towards. The other piece I'd like to speak about very quickly, and I don't have it here, it's in one of the display cases here in the Masonic Temple in Newton, but they have a nice little white picture uh, with the view of the Newton Masonic Temple on it. And that wasn't made by one of the lodges here. It wasn't commissioned by the Building Association. It was actually made by a member of one of the lodges who owned a store that was diagonally uh, across the street from here. And again, sold as a souvenir item. The last piece is a two-piece, and that is a cup and saucer. And here is the saucer, and I hope you can make out the image. And this is the cup. Now, gold gilt on the edges of the saucer, and very nicely gold gilt on the inside of the cup. The cup and saucer have the images of the Masonic Temple in what is called, or what was called once, Upper Gloucester, Maine, is now called New Gloucester. It is the home of Cumberland Lodge, and I, unfortunately I forget the uh, number of the lodge. The building is still there today. The lodge is still there today. Um, the same building that is on this cup is still there today. Um, again, these pieces date to maybe the 1920s, 30s, 40s. Um, now you might say Upper Gloucester, New Gloucester, YA, Souvenir piece. Well, 
It is just south of Lewiston, Maine, and it's just east of the Poland Springs, which at one time, Poland Springs was a very active tourist destination. Now, on the bottom of both pieces, it is also marked made in Germany. But the nice thing about this is they're both marked Ray and Humphrey. Now, I don't know if Ray, and, Ray or Humphrey were Freemasons in Upper Gloucester, Maine. But I do know from research that I've done that they are listed as merchants in 1904, owning a general store in Upper Gloucester, now called New Gloucester. So these two items were sold as a souvenir piece from Upper Gloucester, Maine, uh, just for the tourist trade. But they do show a Masonic image. Now, most of the items that I have seen show the Masonic building. Um, I've seen postcards, I've seen some silver spoons, most of the items I've seen is ceramic, but these are kind of hard to find. Um, not every building or company had ceramic pieces made for the buildings. Um, it's just one of those things that you have to keep searching on eBay and other places to find one. Uh, these two pieces took me a long time to find, but they are out there. So with that, I want to thank you very much. Uh, I will have photographs of these pieces on our Facebook page uh, once this video is posted. Remember, give us a thumbs up if you like what you see. You know, leave us a comment once this gets on the Facebook. Uh, pass the word. Uh, we'd love to get some uh, feedback from you. So hit the subscribe button. And uh, that's it. So thanks for watching.